I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTrackGear.com, and I'm looking to go ride my motorcycle at Grattan Raceway this Sunday with my friends from SportBike Track Time. You saw me do the Hot Bodies Race Body Work install. I've still got the color form stuff here, so I want to get my stock stuff off, right, which I was really nervous about riding with the first time I went there. And I'm going to show you what it takes to get the stock body work off the R1. I think this would be a good video for a lot of people doing a lot of service stuff. I'm not going to show you what it takes to put the Hot Body stuff on because we already did that. Thing, right? You can watch that video and see what that part takes, but here's what it takes to get the stock stuff off. We're going to leave this as real time, and if I screw up, you're going to see that too. Okay, side fair. Got some quick release stuff here. A lot of this gets reused. Okay, I'm going to reuse a few of these fasteners with my race body work. Thank you, Yamaha, for using these super cool fasteners. Get those loose. Got this little heat shield down here for the exhaust. This will not be reused in any way. With the race bodywork install. Get those fasteners out. Let's put all this stuff to the side nicely. Take good care of it. Okay, come up front here. We're going to have three push pins, okay? One is down here by the oil cooler. Got to push in the center to release it. There are two more that are up here on this little closeout panel that trims around that coolant overflow jug. All you got to do with these is you push in the center to release it. I'll show you it right now, okay? They start off flush. When they're flush, they've expanded the tree. When you push them in, they release the tension. Okay, these are reusable pretty much over and over. Again, get those bad boys off. <clears throat> now, how do we get the side fairing off? Really simple. Okay, when I come down here and uh, get that released, now grab it and slide it forward. Okay, this rides in this channel right here. Got a clip up front right here and then the important one this spring clip that goes right there okay that's how you get the side panel the right side of the motorcycle let's go over to the left side and begin the same process pretty much identical at the end of the day okay a little heat shield down here Quick release fasteners. One up here on the top. And remember, we got to get in here. Release these bad and good companies here. Come to the other side, a little easier to see those. This one, we have three. One at the top, one more in the middle, and one down here towards the bottom. Get in there and get a little bit of an angle. Get that bad boy released. Like so. Out it comes. Off that comes, there's one more that holds this panel right to the motorcycle. Okay, and that is close to the radiator. All right, you can get your side panel off and leave this on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this little closeout panel on right here. This will not be reused with the race body. Right. Just as we showed you on the other side, grab it and give it slide forward. Spring clip, 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 and that removes that side panel. We're gonna leave this on, we're gonna leave the one on the other side as well. Okay, now we've got our front fender. And go ahead and place that. We've got a hot bodies fender, of course. It's all mounted up. 
Fender's really easy. Two fasteners down here. There's one at the rear. The one at the rear we have holding our brake line as well as that front wheel speed sensor harness right here. There is a nut behind here, 10 millimeter. Okay, if you need, put a wrench on there on the nut and that'll allow you to release the fastener from the nut. I'm holding the nut in place. That bad boy out. I'm just gonna leave that fastener right in there like so. Go over to the other side. Same deal. This time when I go out, I'm gonna have race tires, Pirelli SC2 slicks, front and rear. Pretty excited about that. The, the street tires that came out, the RS10s, not a bad tire, to be honest with you, but I really like my race rubber and I'm looking forward to riding the motorcycle with that on. It really boosts the confidence level for me. Especially when we're talking about a project bike that I can't be crashing. Okay, fender off. Lower this down. And I'm going to go ahead and get off the upper fairing. I'm also going to need to reuse my wheel because I only have one at this point in time. Okay, so I'm going to We've got our Little closeout panels here on both sides of the upper fairings. The way I've got the bodywork on, I'm using these, man. I think it really cleans it up nice. These are staying on the motorcycle. Got a four millimeter Allen bolt here on the outside. It's a shoulder bolt. Inside here, we have a little push pin. It's the same one of those where you push in the center. Okay. Remove that back here. We have a tree clip that goes into a rubber grommet, like so. Very easy to remove that. That's gonna give us the access that we need to get in there and pull that front nose panel off, okay? Right now we've got these driven uh, mirror eliminators on there, pretty sweet. So there's no mirrors to take off. The only difference with the mirror eliminators and the mirrors is going to be the wiring harness for the turn signal. All right, so go ahead and tip that to the side, get that out of it. Now we need to get ourselves a 10 millimeter socket on a quarter drive ratchet. Get that up in there. That's gonna allow us to get these mirror block offs off. Got a couple of screws, and then the upper fairing, right, or I should say the nose fairing, will be loose, and I'll show you how to get that off. This whole motorcycle is very modular. Plastic fairing stay, reduce weight, kind of cool. The way I mount my race body work, I won't be reusing these block offs. I like to use a cable tie up here. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this hardware to the side. I don't wanna lose any of this. Same thing over here. Break the block offs loose. Nuts back on those just so I can keep track of everything there. Okay, now uh, we've got two fasteners <clears throat> that are just grabbing the edge of the upper fairing stay right here, four millimeter, one on each side, four millimeter head. And from 
here, if memory serves me correctly, this is it. And we're going to be ready to pull off the front fairing. Slid down and pull forward. That bad boy is off. Two fasteners here, okay? These two slots on the windshield line up with the upper fairing stay. Okay, and then you've got these two push pins here that go into rubber grommets that are on the actual right nose panel right here. Windscreen. I told you I need to reuse this because I only have one right now. It's a stock one that came on the motorcycle. I'm going to go ahead and take those off. T20 Torx is what we use to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and reuse the same fasteners with my Hot Bodies Race Bodywork. Color form stuff's pretty cool. I did this with the Honda last year too, and you know it takes time to get a paint job done. And, and you know we just got our body work, just got our bike, and it's nice with the, the color form. You know you don't have to paint it. And I got some sweet stickers from my friends at Pop Shadow Decals. Right, great sticker package. And now I'm going to go to the racetrack. The bike's going to look good at the end of the day. Grab the fasteners for the windscreen. Mount that to the upper real quick. Remember, this stuff's all been drilled and fitted. You've seen that video, so it's pretty simple here. Stuff goes on pretty quickly once we get going. We do have to get a little bit more taken off the front of the bike. I'm gonna show you how to get off, right? Anything that you need before the race bodywork goes on, but I'm just gonna get this windscreen started here so I don't misplace any fasteners. Weather looks great for Sunday. It's the only day I can make it, so this should be a whole heck of a lot of fun. Okay, back to the bike. Okay, what we're going to want to get off now is going to be our lights, top and bottom. The whole fairing stay remains on the motorcycle. All right, so this comes off here. Right, there's a just kind of a little slip clip right there on both sides, and we have a push pin here. Pull that bad boy out. And then we'll get to the fasteners that actually hold the lights in place, and then we can unplug everything as well. Phillips now. And these go into the plastic fairing stick. Go ahead and grab a number two Phillips and begin working on this. Hopefully, Tyler's able to, you know, behind me might be a little better angle, bud. see the two fasteners that we're going after here. I pulled the fuse panel, right, from its mounting right here. It is mounted to the upper fairing stage, so we'll slide that back in, but that hides one of the fasteners that need to come off the front of the bike. Coarse threaded Phillips screws, okay. And other side of the motorcycle, we've got uh, two fasteners as well. Actually, we only have the one up here on the top. Okay. And 
now. So it can take a whole lot to dislodge. I've got a whole light assembly together. Here is the Poland's steering damper. Uh, OEM workaround, right? That comes with it, so you plug it in, you don't end up with any kind of light on. I had that cable drive there, we need to undo that. Okay, now this stays together as an assembly. First thing that needs to happen is you have a secondary fuse panel that is hooked into this trim panel here. I had to pull that out from its mounting. Now, if you come over here, bud, wiring connectors. Okay, we've got one here. These are all going to be lighting connectors that need to be disconnected. Release the tension on it, pull that one, and then we have two over here on the light control unit, if you want to show them that, right here. And there you go. Your whole light assembly is now off. Motors. So I want to put that inside. I want that to get damaged. Now we're down to pulling off. Remove the seat. Okay. We've got two five millimeter fasteners right there. Just fold up the seat on the corner. My bad. I grabbed it. Grab a six, a five I think is over. Here, you fold up the seat on the corner, and you've got access to the fastener. Piece of cake. We will not be reinstalling the seat as the bodywork that I am running. It's a super bike tail from Hot Body, so we're good to go there. We've already got a foam pad on it. We'll need to get the passenger pylon off. Okay, there's that. Grab the key. Passenger pylon off with our seat. And now we have our tail fairings here. Pretty simple. Got some fasteners that do have the uh, little Phillips head deal in there. Kind of a push pin. Sometimes after these have been used a couple of times, they, they don't thread out very well. So another thing you can do is you need to kind of get under it. Can't get your fingernail under it. Grab a screwdriver, small little fill, or I'm sorry, flat blade. You just need to kind of get in between it and pry it up like so. All right, that'll help you release that. Those things never seem to hold up very well. Okay, and then we have back here, four mil, four mil. Tails and pieces. Watch the shoulders in here, the spacers, okay? You need to make sure you keep those with the fastener. And then we have one more underneath here. Also a four. There is a spacer in there. It looks like it's going to stay with it. Okay. What else do we have here? We got another little Phillips head. Let's see if this one will turn out for us here. There we go. Cooperating a little better. I was able to get underneath it and kind of push up on it. These 
that. Let's see what we have left here for our tail. Okay, over here. And looks like this four mil right here should do it. Off that comes. And that's what it takes to remove the tail side panels. I'm going to do the other side now. And this one's cooperating, so we're able to get this one out a whole heck of a lot easier than the other side. here you're able to put a little pressure on beneath that helps to get that out pull that one and we're down to the T handle now that one here two on the back There's the spacer I told you to watch out for. I'm gonna have to go fishing for that bad boy now. Looks like it got caught up right down there by the battery, so I should be able to get that. Now we've got one underneath, just like the other side. Complete mirror image. And there you have it. Errors and all. That's what it takes to remove the stock body panels from 2015 Yamaha YZFR1. And hopefully, if you've got a project, this helps you work on your own bike. I'm Brian Vans, Bullbike Track here.com, heading to the racetrack.